roasted garlic potatoes. You can peel the potatoes and leave them in cold water, like shapes and sizes when you peel and cut the potatoes, okay? You can hold them in cold water until you start to cook them. I start to cook them by bringing up a lid on a pot so it comes to a boil fast. Then you add your salt so the salt doesn't sink and scar your pots. When the potatoes are tender, we take them and drain them. And what I'm gonna share with you guys is just really the way to hold the already mashed potato. Back here, I have a larger pan. See, I can put this pan into this pan and it'll be fine. We're making a bain-marie. A bain-marie is a water bath to hold things perfectly for as long as you need them to stay warm and perfect. It, it's mindless after that, except for keeping an eye on the water level. Uh, eventually, of course, this will evaporate entirely. So we just have to keep that low water level for our bain-marie going, uh, and, and they can hold forever. This adorable thing is a food mill, and this is how we get those fluffy mashed potatoes. We're gonna take our potatoes, put them into the hopper, and I do a medium Yukon Gold potato per person or per portion, or half a large russet potato, same deal, per person per portion. And then as you mill, keep knocking a few of the larger pieces into the hopper there. See how at the bottom, you gotta keep knocking them over the bar? One side of the mill, because of the blade, there'll be a hole where you can just keep knocking the potatoes in. One side of the blade is, of course, higher than the other. So we just keep knocking the potatoes under the high side of the blade. We're down to just about the end. I'm gonna take the little tiny bits in the corners here, get them out of there. And now we're going to stir in about a cup of milk and a couple tablespoons of butter. Warm your milk and butter always when we make mashed potatoes, right? Stir that in. We'll sprinkle a white pepper and our star ingredient, maybe not the potatoes. It's two heads of roasted garlic, yum. So for roasted garlic, you cut the ends off to expose all the cloves, of course. Salt them, pour a little olive oil or spray them with a little olive oil and make a little pouch. Looks like a taco. So we're taking two full bulbs, and once they cool, one hour at 400 degrees in the pouch, once they cool, we paste them with the side of our knife. Boop! Into the pot she goes. And then work it through. See how that golden color just mixes so beautifully with the color of the potatoes themselves? So now we take the lid, put it back on the pot, drop it into the bain-marie, and that'll sit all day, all night, as long as you keep the water going. The bain-marie has kept our potatoes, look, steam rolling off of them, steaming hot. We'll take our paddle and put our roasted garlic, Yukon Gold, perfectly mashed potatoes into the serving dish.